Hey peeps, it's Aldo from Zero to Mastery, and in today's tutorial, we're talking about what .NET is. Now this isn't just any tutorial, it's part of Claudio Bernasconi's complete c -sharp and .NET Bootcamp course available on Zero to Mastery. So if you want to learn more about .NET and how it works, click the link in the top right hand corner, or check out the description below for the full course. Alright, that's it from me. Let me hand it over to Claudio. Enjoy! What is .NET? I know, you want to jump into your editor and start writing software. However, I've seen many developers missing the fundamentals and running into avoidable problems. So please, bear with me and let's learn the basics about the .NET platform to save you from future headaches. .NET is an open source development platform created by Microsoft for building many different types of applications. I like this definition from the official .net.microsoft.com website a lot. .NET is open source, which means we can keep track of upcoming changes to the platform and peek into the source code when required. Microsoft is the owner of .NET. It is one of the most valuable companies of the world. .NET allows developers to build many different types of applications, including web applications, desktop applications, mobile applications, IoT solutions, and even 2D and 3D games. .NET officially supports three different programming languages. You can build .NET applications using Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and you can run those applications on even more platforms, including modern mobile devices. The .NET platform allows us to use the same APIs across different application types. Learn it once and use it everywhere. There are thousands of .NET APIs and more than a quarter million packages on NuGet. .NET currently supports three programming languages. The most used and the one we learn in this course is C Sharp. C Sharp is simple to learn but offers advanced concepts to make it a powerful general purpose language. F Sharp is a functional first programming language that runs on the .NET platform. It is gaining more and more popularity, especially among experienced .NET developers. The third programming language is Visual Basic .NET, often called VB.NET. It is based on classic Visual Basic that existed before the .NET platform. Although language development is slower these days, it's still used today. Now let's explore the architecture of .NET. This chapter shows how the source code we write can run on the target device. There are many details we don't need to be aware of right now, but we want to understand the fundamentals. As a .NET developer, we write code in one of the supported programming languages. It doesn't matter what language we use, the compiler transforms the source code into a common intermediate language, CIL. For example, we can use C-sharp to write our application and the C-sharp compiler transforms our code into the common intermediate language. The compiled source code can be shipped to a target device. For example, when we build a web application, the compiled app can be moved to the web server. Or if we build a desktop application, the compiled app can be installed on the user's computer. So the compilers and the common intermediate language make sure we can write our programs independently from the programming language we choose. It also applies some optimizations to the code to make it faster. Now, how does a computer run a .NET application? Usually applications running on computers are compiled into a native byte format, depending on the CPU architecture. But how does it work with .NET applications? The process is comparable to what web browsers do. Web developers usually write JavaScript and the web browser has a runtime that understands JavaScript to execute the code. In the .NET world, 
Instead of JavaScript, we have the common intermediate language, and instead of the browser, we have the common language runtime CLR. The CLR can interpret the common intermediate language and turn it into machine code at runtime. It's a small piece of software that enables a device to understand and run .NET applications. This concept allows us .NET developers to use the programming language we prefer, for example C Sharp, to develop fast and reliable applications that can run on different devices using different operating systems and CPU architectures. And that's the end of our overview of .NET. A huge thank you to Claudio for guiding us through this fundamental tutorial. If you're hungry to learn more, just imagine what you can learn in his complete C Sharp and .NET Bootcamp course, linked in the top right hand corner and in the description down below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on future tutorials from Claudio and other expert Zero to Mastery instructors. Alright, that's it from me. Keep learning, and I'll catch you in the next video.